Right guys, this is it. This is the pump mod that I'm going to do. Um, this will give you basically full control over the flow. Now this is an EIM Compact uh, 100, uh, 1000, sorry. Comes with lots of attachments. Um, you're probably not going to need any of them. But you will need, and I'll show you in a minute, the one uh, which is this one. This is going to be a very tight squeeze. I'm not going to take a video of me squeezing it on there because it's going to take a while but basically what you need to do is warm it up with hot water and then force it on um, that's basically what's going to happen it, it shouldn't take too long but you need to leave it under the tap for at least a hot tap for at least 15 20 minutes okay so I'll be back in a second right so as you can see this part's gone on here now right to the hilt now this is basically how they held on anyway um, on the original pump which is that one which is huge anyway does have a cable tie here but you don't need that yet now what we're going to need to do is measure it I'm not going to put the suckers on this the reason being is a lot of people have complained is when they put that in there it's very hard to get out and the suckers get stuck to the bottom of the tank blah 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 the easiest way is to put a bit of foam in but anyway look there's a little low ring here you need that as well okay and that screws into here now this is the the 1000 now this is what I'm talking about right here this controls the flow this thing here, just you just turn it up and down. So if you want to turn it into a, beta, uh, a better tank or whatever you want to call it, I call them Siamese fighting fish, but there you go. That's what you need, okay? You need that, all right? There's also a little filter in there, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so you can actually take this apart. Now, we're going to put this on. I'm letting this cool down. You can cool it down with cold water. I prefer not to because I find it makes it brittle. And let's see, we've got to measure the distance now to the bottom of the tank. Now, I do have a little bit of sponge in there. So there won't be any vibration anyway. So we'll see in a minute. I'm just going to check the flow on this, which I'll take a video of. Bear with me. Well, okay, as you can see, that flow on minimum is about right, to be fair. So you'd probably want to go for the 600 pump. However, I'm going to keep this because I think this has got more, uh, I mean, I'm, it's got more adjustment than any other thing that I know. And... Apart from the water, you can't really hear it, to be fair. It's smaller, it's the same wattage, so you're not, you know, you're not going to Benny. I mean, look at that, that's... And if you want to filter it more, you can turn it up. So we're going to stick it in and see how we feel about the flow on this. See you in a bit. There you go. Sorry about that. Um, as you can see, flows a lot better. Also, with the in-tank system, I don't know if you can see the difference there in the water. What happens is it actually reduces the flow from the back. But it's virtually silent now. Um, I can actually hear the pump from the other tank over this one now. So if you do have any issues, that's the one to do. I'll put some details in the description. Aqua Cadabra and Pro Shrimp both sorted me out with these. Got them here really quickly, so shout out to them. Um, and I say I'm very pleased with this media um, I believe it's Richard uh, it's Bio Home Ultimate that I use as you can see there's a lot more flow through the in-tank system a lot of movement in there I did have foam there as you remember I took it out to give me a little bit more and the Bio Home Ultimate from there is now in the other tank. But look at that, that's much better. A lot more quiet now. And if you look, there's actually some more baby shrimp that I found in there as well. And you can adjust that. That's the thing. That's the thing I like. Yeah. Um, Fluval, you need to get your act together. Yeah. These pumps, I mean, less than 20 pounds, completely silent. Um, and you can adjust it. So that's what you need to do. And of course you've got all the spares from the other bit. Alright, we'll speak soon. I'm just going to check the flow on the other one and the noise. You'll hear the noise in a minute from the other the other pump and you'll see why I'm doing this. Okay, well we've got it on at the moment. The noise is incredible. Um, I've actually had to put a bit of foam underneath the filter to stop it echoing because I could hardly hear myself. It was like being at a dentist. Um, this is normal. This is not even a year old and it's normal. Um, 
and to be honest my idea is much better now saying that having said that I've got to be honest um, hang on, I've got to turn this off I can't hear myself think now on that note what I would suggest is if you want a better one go for the uh, sorry beat a better Siamese fighting fish whatever you want to call them a low flow option a very low flow option then you can go for the 600 that will fit but you will need to cable tie it um, I will show you actually let me go and get that right these are the two options the thousand if you want the replacement if you want a replacement with the added benefit of being able to adjust it higher than standard all right that's this one here okay if you want one for a Siamese fighting fish or a better and still have the adjustment ability this is the 600 you still got the same adjustment here and this is the appropriate one so this goes in here like that and then that goes on top of there you do have to bring it right the way down sorry you do have to bring it all the way down and you will have to cable tie it so if you want to do this mod you need to cable tie it you'll also need to understand that this being on that is not long enough it won't reach the bottom so you will need to put some foam in there however this has an added benefit that for whatever reason if the pump fails or anything like that you're not going to flood or if um, this keeps pumping you should always leave it a little bit away from the bottom just in case the tubes come off or any other reason but on the other end the actual outlet end you can take a piece off or you can use the middle tubing for eheim which i believe is 16 millimeters so if you get some 16 millimeter eheim tube it'll fit on there that will fit onto the other piece it's perfect and again this one will be perfect for a better tank um, and i believe this is very similar to what they use in the 37 litre or the nine gallon or whatever they want to call it the smaller flex the smaller flex has this basically the big one has that so there you have it oh you get some added bonuses of all these little bits which is quite cool i actually use the thousand uh, to do my water changes because what i do is i put the um in my bigger tank in the uh, roma in the 240 litre i use this i use this part put the pipe over the top pump the water out uh, while i'm pumping the water out i put the other end on so you've got these two ends and i use it as a vacuum cleaner so that's quite cool um, you can do the same with that um, it's just not as powerful simple as that um, these are fantastic listen I'll be honest with you Eheim in my opinion make superior and I do mean that superior pumps even in their filters the the pump heads are far better so there you have it now you know what to do guys take care thank you very much oh just a quick note uh, the guys that supplied the goods for this um, are aqua cadabra i'm going to put links in the description below it's a little bit musty in there but you can see there's lots of circulation now um i always mix it up a little bit just so you can get an idea of how the flow is um, and as you can see on that there is lots of um, circulation within the tank however it's not bad it's not going to blow fish around it's not going to do that i am using this as a shrimp tank uh, both filters have a very small pre-filter which can be adjusted but I wouldn't bother. Um, mainly use this if you're using um, sponge somewhere in the back. Um, you've seen how my system is, the way it looks and I always put up sponge. I don't use the fine stuff purely because it's not, it's not big enough, it doesn't warrant it. This will clear up in a day or two, this will be crystal clear um, using that. And the reason I people ask me why have I got a sponge filter? Well, that's purely through food. Shrimp love it, um, and as you can see, there's lots of uh, babies around now. Um, since I take the hybrids out, these have sort of gone crazy. I have been told they change colour. So, if you want to do this mod, the 600 would be for the, your your fighters. Um, you can use it for your shrimp as well. You wouldn't need to, but you could. The thousand is for. A well stocked tank you'll be able to put that through that be careful though guys and you will have to adjust it but as i say this is a very cool thing aqua cadabra well done thanks again guys shout out to you um and oh the other thing i will say when you're doing that pipe if you get the 16 mil tube in you can adjust it up and down try and keep it off the bottom though um 
these these you know the suckers if you get the suckers stuck on there you'll never get them off i put a bit of sponge to stop that happening but however you know i always put it about a centimeter off the bottom and you'll never ever have any problems on that note look at him lovely jubbly so you take care guys thanks for watching cheers